Okay, okay. Here we are, dude. Pink Friday 2. It's finally here. Big happy birthday to Nicki Minaj, man. Queen of rap. Uh, the video is not going to be out in time for sure because I got to edit it and that takes like at least a day. So we're going to get on that. Dude, it's actually here. It's here, dude. And I see Phineas is on production for the first track. Phineas? Really? If you're new here, man, we got over 200 first reactions to Nicki, man. We went through a lot of her music. We've been stunned, shocked, and gagged, man. She is queen of rap. Simple as that. So we're going to get on with it, man. Are You Gone Already, produced by Phineas, Trinidadian rapper, fifth studio album, emotional production, and a sample of Billie Eilish's What I Wanna Know. When the party's over. <gasps> dude, when the party's over, that's a banger. That's a banger, dude. Anyways, let's check it out, man. Let's go. Oh my God, it is. No good for you. Wow, the chorus. Really? Stop, you bleed it. Pitched up vocals. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't expect it to drop like that. What the frick? What the frack? Holy moly, dude. Jesus Christ. All right. I gotta prepare myself. I can't believe that. I. That's insane to me. Oh shit, man. Damn, man. Oh, man. Dude. You're, she got started off with an emotional track. I swear she did a poll. I think she did a poll on Twitter and she was saying like, what kind of track do you want for the intro? And I thought like a banger was the one that that won the vote or something. I might be tripping, but damn, man, you gonna hit me in the heart right at the start, man. God damn it, dude. Damn, man. Oh, wait, his birthday's actually... His birthday is like five days before hers wait wait that's crazy wow I'm not gonna cry on the first track. I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> this track's great. That's great. Oh. It's not fair. Man, why does she have to start it off like that? Why does she have to do that, man? It's unfair because like the original track with Billy, I've cried to that shit multiple times, many, many times. And then Nikki putting her take on it with her um, life, it's just hitting, man. It's just really hitting. In 2021, the death of her father, Robert Mirage, uh, with her expressing her grief and lament that her son never got the opportunity to meet his grandfather. Oh, man. I feel like death is one thing I'll never be able to accept. It's just it's just the way of life. And people are, that's the way life is. Everyone has to die. Yeah, no shit. But it still fucking sucks. I don't know how people can just... I don't know. It's... I'm scared. I'm scared. <clears throat> the track's existence, as well as Eilish's involvement, was revealed through a Twitter post on December 7th, hours before the album. I was sleeping. <laughs> Damn. That was a great track. What's the comments thinking? Unexpected. What? What? Billy, my jaw dropped. <laughs> 
I didn't expect that either, dude. Perfect fucking sample, yep. And the way they chopped it up, Phineas, dude, he's a great producer. He chopped that so well. Uh, excited for these queens. She's credited for her first ever feature on here. You know it's serious. Oh, this is before it dropped? It's only dropped to my knees. <laughs> Queen of rap. That was a great track, man. That was a great track. I feel like this could have been an amazing outro track because it leaves you with that emotional impact. You know what I mean? But also, you want something like that for the start. But maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but I liked it, man. Keep it elite, man. Keep this track. What will I rate this track? I enjoyed it, man. It wasn't like any bar intensive stuff, but it's a storytelling track with strong emotions and it really, it really hits the spot. I will give this. I liked it a lot. I want to go eight, nine. I'm going to go eight, nine for this track. Yeah, man, it really hits. Okay, okay. Next up is Barbie Dangerous, produced by Hollywood Cole. Why does that sound familiar? Tate Cobang and Kendall Evan Taylor. Okay. I, all right. I don't think I've heard of them. Uh, but let's check it out, man. Barbie Dangerous. <laughs> That's a sample. I know that sample right off the bat. Flatbush Zombie sampled that shit. What track was it? Ah, dude, that's a, that's a fire sample. I think it was a track with Skepta they had featured. But Flatbush Zombies are dope. <laughs> and that laugh is actually what Eric the Architect uses. That's the same sample. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh no, guys, guys. I've, dude, the bars, the bars are going to go left and right. I'm going to miss some, man. I have one, 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 one angel numbers. Cause like the numbers, angel numbers, bro. Oh shit. Oh shit. You are over. You ain't in range of us. Is this going to play on like Range Rover? Yep. Yep, it is. Because over. Yeah, okay, okay. Don't endanger us. Oh my god, dude. Oh shit. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> bro she's spitting so fast man i'm struggling to keep up man oh my lord what's the sun's what's the sun's bar these rap bitches you like is my sons stick them up on their shrap show when i'm done okay i don't think there's anything there super like intricate right am i tripping is that one going over my head to build another barbie doll screws loose that means you got to be a little Cuckoo, I guess. <laughs> Big Papa and Papa Bear, mother of the year. W. Heavy on Arch. He was in it from the back. Hey, yo. Is an Arch, is that, is that, is that a double entendre? I might be tripping. All right, let's keep going, man. Okay, she's delivering with this flow, man. It's just a fast paced flow. But it's kill season. You apologize, but it's still treason. Got a steaming like dry cleaning. Oh, like no demon. Hoes, words ain't got no demon time. It's actually bohemian. The worst nightmare, they still dreaming. Bitches jacking, I'm still queen. And I'm still guys, guys. Oh my god, the bars, the bars, the bars. Queen of this rap shit. You know, the band Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. Worst nightmare, they still dreaming. Bitches jack, and I'm still queening. Is that like Jack and the. Oh, like a cards okay genius with the fucking explanations we can't trust them i don't think that's it i'm thinking they're talking about it's like an animated cartoon or some shit right jack and i'm still queening i, I forget oh, actually it might be a card bar that could be a card bar queening yeah that could be it steaming dry cleaning bro i, I don't want to keep pausing but she's going off the bags and this bread if we buy in food talking about money but like a a food metaphor like everything left and right dude and i'm still praying you would too if you knew how these jealous bitches move first 22 by 22 they don't know they have to dude i dude dude i love when rappers spell shit out like that i always thought that was really cool why is idc highlighted why an acronym for I don't care. Yeah, well, no fucking shit. You don't need to explain that. Who the fuck? Dude, motherfuckers, get off genius, man. You think you're smart? Everyone fucking knows what IDC is. Oh my god. Dude, this is... This is a banger. 
Is pick one ticket, I got the white one, a reference to like a white picket fence, I'm guessing? Like the American dream kind of thing? Dude, that track was fucking heat! Dude, she ate on that shit, dude. Oh my god! I love the sample too. Like I said, that's that Flatbush Zombie sample. And they sampled it from someone else, I thought. But I feel like these guys that sampled it did it from Flatbush Zombies because it has that evil laugh at the start, the hehehe. <laughs> It's like a girl creepy evil laugh. And that's like the producer tag for Eric. Song samples the classic Notorious Thugs. Yeah, so Notorious B.I.G. So they sampled B.I.G. But I think these guys sampled Flatbush, to be honest. But at the same time, they sampled... It's it's a fucking... Dude, everything samples... Everything, everything. The Nikki's flow mirror those of the original track. Yeah, dude, the flow is nuts. Heavy on self-confidence and assertiveness. I love that. Claiming her position and dominance in the rap game, dude. What's the comment saying on this one? It's quiet, ain't no back talk. My crown, you can't... F-I-T. It is pretty short. Two minutes, dude. Two minutes. The queen of this rap shit, Bohemian. I love that bar, dude. I would say Don't Stop Me Now is better than Bohemian Rhapsody or whatever it's called. Don't Stop Me Now is amazing. It's 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 godlike. It's godlike. Biggie flow, absolute perfection. <laughs> My throne, they can't S-A-T. This though, coming from Are You Gone Already to This is killing me. <laughs> Such an emotional track. That's why I was like, it could be a great outro track. And then they hit us with like hardcore bars, dude. Hardcore flows. It just hits. The biggest sample go crazy. That shit was tough. That shit was tough, dude. That was bars on bars on bars. Keep or delete. Keep. What will I rate this track? I like it, man. It was fun. It was fun. The sample's a freaking classic. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know much of B.I.G. and like the old school guys like Tupac. I don't know. I don't know too much about them. But uh, this shit's a banger, dude. So I'm gonna give this. I wanna go like a nine. I wanna go like a nine three. We're gonna go nine three. We're gonna go nine three for this one, man. Uh, this shit was pure heat. Pure heat, dude. Okay, okay. Next track, FTCU. Produced by Atlanta Jacob. I didn't know what FTCU meant, but then Spotify played the first freaking second. I, you know, I went over and it plays the first second before I can pause it. So it kind of spoiled that. I hate when it does that. Fuck the club up. So I wonder if it's going to sample that song from back in the day. I don't even remember who, who made it, but I remember that song back in the day. Fuck this club up. Fuck this club it sounds like it. Is that a Waka Flocka track? <laughs> Oh, dude, this is gonna be all heat. I know it, dude. This album's gonna be insane, man. I love aggressive Nikki. Wait, wait, spray like 50 cent? Like, is that what she's referring to when he got shot? Wait, there's a TV show? Oh, what? I remember the movie Get Rich or Die Trying. That shit was freaking sick, dude. I watched it. It was like 12 or some shit, but I, that was a dope movie if, if, if I remember correctly. Uh, I want to check out that TV show. I didn't even know that, man. The bars here and the rhyme schemes are really nice. She's taking a nice freaking smooth approach with the flow. I'm liking it, man. The beat, nice too, man. And the chorus, kind of nostalgic a bit. What? Guys, Chitty Bang? Whatever happened to Chitty Bang? I remember he made that song Opposite of Adults back in the day. The Tory Lane and Iggy shit, isn't that like some fucked up shit going on between those two, if I remember correctly? Tory Lane, oh, it was Megan the Stallion. Wait, what does Iggy have to do? Iggy was defending Tori, poking fun at the Megan Stallion getting shot. Yeah, I watched a video about that, and apparently she got like, shot in the foot, but like no one knows if like her friend shot her or if it was Tori or whatever. I don't know. There's there's some like blurred details, dude. This was fire. Dulce is a banana company, right? That's the stickers on bananas. I don't know what Gabbana is, but why is that on her titties? That's the, that's my question. Why is that the sticker? Or wait, wait, is that a sexual reference? Perhaps, probably, right? Caught my vitamins when I ride the dicky. Wait, what are the vitamins? What are the vitamins? 
Wait, are they going to say it in the explanation? No, they're not. Well, vitamin D getting penetrated. <laughs> the Mickey, Jesus Christ. What's the midi? Dude, dude, she's providing, man. Baseball. Oh, okay. She's saying she's a catch. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, I see. I get it. This beat's very familiar as well. The power. Didn't he have a song, something like the power of the dollar? <laughs> I don't get it. <gasps> oh, I get it. Oh, oh, take away two. I ate because it's the number eight. Oh my God. What dude? Oh man, dude. Nikki's pen game is unlike no others, dude. Oh my God. This is some real rap shit, dude. I love it. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that 808, dude. That beat is, uh, Kanye did something on this beat, I believe. I, I recognized it. I'm pretty sure it's a Kanye. I don't know if he made it, but I know he sampled the same sample if it is. I forget what song it is, though. Stay in your Tory Lane, bitch. I'm not Iggy. Damn. <laughs> what is Elsa doing in the club? This kind of makes me want to teach him how to, how to Dougie. Damn. That's throwback. Gag City. She just ripped Lotto a new one by using the same sample. Oh, she's... Lotto also used this. I know Kanye did before her for sure. Uh, she flown and riding that B. Oh yeah, give her tens and she ate. Oh man, she really providing out here, man. Almost sold on this beat, but still, nevertheless, this is good. She murdered this beat so easily. True, true, dude. It kind of reminds me of how like people. I don't want to say people because not a lot of people think that anymore. But I remember people always used to think you need a rap fast to be a good rapper. And, you know, and they'd always point to Eminem. But like, you don't need a rap fast. It's all about the lyrics, I think. The lyricism, the crafting of the bars, the rhyme schemes, all of that shit, the flow. That's way more important than how fast you rap. And she just took a nice approach to this and just laid down freaking bars. It was nice. It was nice. It was smooth, man. Bitch, we ain't twinning, ain't fraternal or identical. <laughs> The bars are funny. Got the power though. Isn't that uh Power is an American crime television? Oh, so that's the name of the TV show is Power. But I'm pretty sure 50 Cent had a song like Power of the Dollar as well or something. Fire track, man. Fire track, keep it elite, keep. What will I rate this one? Dude, it's an it's it's in the nines. I'm gonna go 9 0 for this one right now. I'm gonna go 9 0 for this one. Dude, it's just non-stop heat. It's non-stop heat, dude. Let's keep going, man. Okay, okay. Next up is beep beep. Uh beep beep. Produced by Murder Beats and OJ Finesse. I'm assuming it's like Hennessy, like a play on that, I think. Murder Beats is a classic producer, dude. This should be a banger. Uh, yeah, man, let's just check it out. Let's go. So it's not nice. Nike. Ooh, dude, we're getting such like aggressive Nikki, and I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving it, dude. Is that bleep? What does that mean? Like, it got censored. She's censoring herself here. Is that something? Oh, the person's name. This is a Missy sub. Beep beep, who's got the keys to the Jeep room? Oh my god. Drop, there was a group chat with the older female rappers, Missy, Queen Latifah, others, where Missy was sharing the diss record in a group chat. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay, okay. Oh, she's doing the murder thing. Spoilers. Oh, never mind. That's a different way. Wait, it's, it's, it's over. This isn't on the album. I mean, it's on Spotify under the album. Yeah, that was so short. <laughs> murder, murder. So when I heard the murder part, I forget. It reminded me of a different song. I thought she was going to like do the same way as a song I remember. What song is that? 
It was like a Jay-Z Kanye song, I think. Maybe just a Jay-Z song. It's not that tragic. One minute and 35 seconds. What a joke. <laughs> It was tasty. It was tasty. It was definitely really short. Uh, I, this is like clearly like a little diss track. It's not anything like super, you know, it's just a diss track. I wonder why they said it's not going to be on the album, but it's on Spotify under the album. But I guess the, the album cover here is different too. Like it's like a single or something. I'm not sure. It was a pretty cool track. I do love Aggressive Nikki. The drums went hard. The bars were funny. There were some funny bars in there. It was good, man. It was good. Keep it really, man. I'll keep it. What will I rate this? I'll give it like, I'll go like an eight. I'll go like an A3. I'll go like an A3. It was nice. It was nice, man. Okay, okay. Next up is Fallen For You. Released by Atlanta Jacob and DB. I, I'm, maybe I'm guessing we're getting a, another emotional track, perhaps? Ooh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> That's a nice snare. Okay, okay. And we're going to get some singing too. If he's a G, it's a win win. Is that a double entendre? A reference to her husband, Kenneth Petty, who's affiliated to the Bloods. So wait, what's the G have to do? Is there a play on words there? I feel like there's a play on words there. Who's Jojo? Casey? An R&B duo from the 2000s. I'm going crazy just thinking about you lately. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, I see. Can't play the queen before the king king. Is this about chess? Can't play the queen before the king. Draws a parallel between chess strategy and relationship dynamics. In chess, the queen is the most powerful piece. True. Very true. It is often moved after the king's position is secured. No. Can't play the queen before the king. Can't play... No, dude, in chess, you're most likely going to move the, the queen before your king. I play chess, dude. You don't, you, you don't really move your, your king. You be moving the queen a lot. The queen's the best piece. I, I don't know what that explanation was. I'm the pink print. Tell him to kiss the pink ring. All right, let's hear this singing, man. A violin. Mm. Oh, I love that flow. Oh, oh, damn. The shots. The shots. The shots. They got to shake their ass for sex appeal. Damn. Damn. They know that my body T, my middle initial, because the T, but what's my body T? Yeah, I get her middle name, but my body T? Bodies don't produce T. I don't, I feel like there's something that I'm not getting, guys. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it, but I'm loving this. Especially the flow at the start of this verse, the, it's, there's like a, like a nice space in between of every few syllables. I love that. That's so fucking cool. Ooh, a little bit different drums here. The harmony is in the back. Oh my lord. I feel like I missed every single fucking bar in there, dude. I feel like I missed it all, dude. Using me and the barbs never give him back. About Lotto. Claiming to be a bar to rise to fame and then dissing Nikki. Right. That's so whack, dude. Ah, I, I, I don't really... I, dude, listen, man. I don't really like Lotto simply. Like, this is kind of fucking petty of me. I don't really like her because she was on a damn TV show to become a rapper. I think that shit was, that was, shit was just weird. That shit was weird. And I thought she was the one that had someone write her raps, but she's not the one. That was the other girl. But like, still, being on a TV show about like wanting to be a rapper and then like, 
ah, I don't know. I don't want to say it's like an industry plant thing. It's not an industry plant at all, but it's just, I don't know. It's a weird way to become famous and become like a rapper. I turn the picture black by turning the TV off at the mall, but between me and them, it's a gap. Oh shit, because gap. Oh my God, because the name of the store. That's a double entendre, but also the distance. Yep, I didn't get that. Picture saying that you're the queen and knowing it's a fact. Picture my head given wet and wavy strawberry dack. Isabel Lauder, who is notorious for stealing other girls' rap styles, lyrics, and flows. To be fair, Drake does that. And I see Drake has a feature on here. But Drake has stole a lot of flows. <laughs> There's literally like a 10-minute compilation on YouTube of him stealing other people's flows and like partly lyrics and stuff. Like Drake is pretty guilty of that too. So I'm guessing this is like a whole like diss to uh, Lotto then. Riz MC is an artist in 2018 said it was his mission to get Eminem to write a diss record about him. Ah, oh, dude, you're so fucking gross. That's like MGK, dude. It's like, give me attention. You're, you're Eminem, you're a goat. I I want your attention. Dude, 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 fuck off. Make your own waves, dude. No one gives a fuck about a nobody. Who the fuck is Riz MC? You're a nobody. You're a nobody. I never even heard of your name before. He's dissed other rappers such as Rick Ross, 50 Cent, Wiz Khalifa. Is this how people are like trying to get famous now as like a nobody rapper? They just diss big name rappers and hope that they, they diss back for attention? Because like any attention is good attention. If you get bad attention, people are still going to check your shit out. And if they like it, they like it. I think that's a, a very, I don't want to say petty. Is that a petty way? I just think that shit's cringe as fuck. That's so fucking, you let your music speak for itself, dude. His diss is a fail to garner attention. Good. And comparing her ops to Riz, Nikki's saying, that their disses also fail to stick and leave any real damage. I kind of don't like that Nikki's giving him attention here because this guy is just, he's going to everyone for attention. You know what I mean? Like, don't give him any, dude. Who's Miss Mary Mac? Oh, it's a nursery rhyme. A clapping game of unknown origin. All dressed in black with silver buttons. I've never heard of that, that nursery rhyme before. I'm married to the Mac. Is that a gun? Milk and cookies, a slang term for alcohol and drugs. I've never heard, I don't think I've heard milk and cookies used as alcohol and drugs as like a, you know, and whatever. She mentions the moth Mafia makes most of their money recruitment from drug dealing. Mac, uh, that's what I was thinking as a gun. Military Airlift Command, Military Armament Corporation. I don't think that's what she's talking about. <laughs> okay, dude, the genius, bro. Y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all gotta fucking stop, dude. It's airier than Max. That was a Mac Miller reference. Oh. Airy means a place is getting shot up in this context. It's also referring to Ariana Grande. Mac refers to Firearm as well as Mac Miller. Damn, man. R.I.P. Mac. Orchestra-esque beat. Yep, I hear that. Dissing uh, the female rapper Sphere as a whole without dropping any names specifically. But if you look further, it's Lotto. What are people saying on this one? Dude, I didn't even, I didn't pick up on that Mac bar either. Damn, man. The violins, gag city, national anthem. <laughs> Production. We're not gonna act like Nikki didn't just throw shade at Lotto or Lock Ho. Oh, that's a person. You ever listen to a song the first time and it immediately clicks? This one is pretty fire. This isn't a hundred gex. What? I don't think this sounds like a hundred gex at all. At all. Isn't a hundred gex like like way more like hectic and crazy and metallic sounding noises? I don't know. This is a cool song. There is definitely some good bars in here. Cool song. Mm, not my favorite. Keep early. I'll keep. What will I rate this one? I think I'm gonna give this one. I'll go like a solid eight, eight four. I'm feeling an eight four on this one. It's a good track, man. Okay, okay. Next up is "Let Me Calm Down" featuring J Cole. And now I'm confused. Is this gonna is this gonna be like a calm track, or is it saying like "Let Me Calm Down" after this because I'm gonna go hard because I hope. She's gonna go hard on this. J. Cole, man, people hate on J. Cole. Uh, I think a lot of people that hate on J. Cole are people that listen to like NBA Youngboy, Lil Uzi, Yeet, uh, what's the other guy, Playboy Cardi. I think those are the type of people that hate on J. Cole. When J. Cole's a real fucking lyricist, you know what I mean? He's a real rapper the way Nicki is. Obviously, Nicki has way more. I don't wanna diss J. Cole, he's great, he's fucking amazing. But Nikki's pen game is insane. But J. Cole, he also has a great pen game. And that shit's that shit doesn't exist anymore, I feel like. But so yeah, man. Pay pay your respects to J. Cole, man. I hate when people hate on J. Cole. Six track on Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday 2. First collaboration between her and J. Cole. Fucking right, dude. Produced by Atlanta Jacob, uh, Hendrix Smoke, and Coochie Beats. Coochie? Coochie Beats? Let's go. Cool. Oh. Oh. That sounds nice, dude. Oh my god. Kind of reminds me of Kanye's Life of Pablo. The production. Ain't no more debate, and this time it's the ultimatum. Twenty years later, them deep. Say 
emotions, I don't regret them. Just wish you would give me space when I really need it. To be alone in my zone when I'm really heated. Mmm, a little space there. Don't mean you're defeated. Wish you ain't need me to feel like you're completed. Don't wanna say something mean when I don't mean it. Million missed calls, I don't wanna talk. Dude, true though. <clears throat> Wish you ain't need me to feel like you're completed. I hate that. I hate that so much because it's like, I don't want to say I don't feel whole, but it's just, I'm a fucking codependent person. I'm I'm pretty codependent, dude. I need attention. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if I'm talking to someone and we, and we, you know, doing something or whatever, I feel like I'm pretty codependent and that's not a good thing. That's really not a good thing, dude. It's not a good thing. You should be happy on your own before you're happy comes from someone else you know what i mean i feel like if your happiness only comes from that person it's just going to devolve into like issues for each other and it's just it can be it can get messy it can get messy man we're getting more of a storytelling track so we're calming down for this track This is really well produced. See, one thing I know with J. Cole is he could tell a great story, but also add in some crazy wordplay in there, man. Wait, Willow Smith? Why are they dropping Willow S Oh, Will Smith. Oh, shit. These silly dudes heckle and shun. See, that's the thing. I remember seeing some news about the whole Chris Rock, Will Smith thing. You know, apparently, like, a few years ago or something before that happened, Chris Rock tried, like, flirting with, uh, whatever her name is, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada. Apparently, he was, like, flirting with Jada behind the scenes, and no one knew about that until, like, you know, a, like, a year after this incident. That's crazy, dude. Well, dude, I watched a video on, like, their, their family and just their history and stuff. It's just, like, a sad situation, man. He, I feel like Will Smith, you know, he loves his family, but I feel like he wanted to turn it into, like, a billion dollar business and, like, an empire. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It, it, I, I like him, man, but... They got their issues, but who doesn't got their issues, dude? Is I swear to God, this part where it says sometimes you gotta play the back. This isn't talking about sex. I swear to God, he's not talking. This is not a double entendre. No, it is not. It is. This guy's saying it is. Whoever's explaining the lyrics here is saying it is. It is not. You can say it is if you want, but I seriously don't think that's how it was supposed to be taken. Because it obviously it means, you know, like, give, you know, your partner some space. Don't always be clingy. But also you can do, you know, doggy style. But, like, I don't think he meant to do that. I mean, he could. He could have. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't think he meant to do that. Yeah, shit, man. J. Cole's been popping off here. Like a brother, like a manager in A&R. Artist in repertoire. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. It's a record label with uh, Dr. Dre, Rick Rubin, and Diddy. Diddy? Isn't Diddy, like, a piece of shit or something? Plus, a therapist when it start raining hard. Heavy rain is associated with feelings of sadness, of course. J. Cole is saying here that he loved his girl for being a therapist to him. No, 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 no. Your partner is not your fucking therapist. Get a therapist. Listen, man, it's fine to talk about your feelings and like hard emotion, deep trauma shit with your partner. That's fine. But you can't expect them to fix those things. That's what a therapist is for, dude. It's like no one's your therapist, but a therapist. You know what I mean? Like people, people try and find other people like your friends, you know, like it's fine to vent to your friends about some shit you'd be dealing with, some deep, dark shit. Sure. But you can't expect them to like know all the right things to say you can't expect them to be able to heal your trauma that's just it's just unlogical to think that you need a therapist that's what they're trained for to help you get through that shit and heal properly make you want to pull a rated r slick rick oh i didn't know that I feel like, you know what, man? I feel like J. Cole takes the verse on this. I'm gonna keep it real. I think J. Cole takes the verse on this, guys. I don't know. I, I just miss his style. This kind of reminded me of um, For Your Eyes Only. And that's like my favorite J. Cole project. I love For Your Eyes Only from front to back. Amazing project. The harmonies are sick, though.
That sample in the back too. I don't know what it's saying, but it's really fucking cool. Ah, oh, dude, these tracks are so good. This shit's heat, man. First collab, com the touching on the complexities they face in relationships while Minaj is highlighting the difficulty of needing space from those she holds dearest when she faces stress. Cole explores the topic of relationships with a sense of maturity, one which was perhaps somewhat absent from his older, similar themed work, No Role Models. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a classic track. Discuss the challenge of unwavering support and patience in relationships where the jealousy of others can often lead to the vitriolic, I don't know that word, hatred with the ultimate goal of splitting a pair apart. He praises those who, in the face of these types of difficulties, continue to stand by their partner, especially in a time where broken marriages and households have become a common place. Yeah, I mean, like, For Your Eyes Only is a big thing about, like, like relationships and family and, like, his own kid. Like, it's a really deep and meaningful album with bars. And, I mean, they, there's some fun tracks and they're, like, immortal and shit. And, um... The neighbors think I'm selling dope. That one was a banger. J. Cole hasn't missed in five years with the features. True. J. Cole did it again. Cole went off. True. Such an amazing song. They slid on this beat in the storytelling. Yup. Eight. Nikki on her own track. I didn't want to say it. I don't like saying eight. I don't want to say eight. Because that just seems like you're disrespecting. You know what I mean? And it, it ain't no disrespect. They both did great. But I would definitely take J. Cole on this one. That verse was nice. That was nice. Even in the Nikki song, he still delivers. True. That was so cool, man. It's really dope to hear them together. Keeper Leap Man, keep. That was nice. I love that. It was nice, dude. The storytelling as well. It was great. Uh, what will I rate this one? I'm gonna go like an 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm gonna let it simmer. All my ratings, dude, they're not concrete. And again, it's just my opinion. They're not concrete. Ratings can go up and down over time. For now, dude, this is an 8-8. Eight, eight. I really like it. Okay, okay. Next up is R&B featuring Lil Wayne and Take Cobain. We saw this guy on production earlier. I didn't think he was a, a, also a rapper. Oh yeah, so he's a rapper. YG Beats. YG? I feel like that's so weird. To, that's It's like that confuses people with the actual YG. Unless that's that's not him. Distinct Beats and Take Cobain as well on production. Okay. Is it going to be R&B sounding? I'm curious. I'm hyped for a Lil Wayne feature. This should be fun, man. Let's go. Master P. Oh. Wait, a real NB. Oh, I get it. Hold on. But he says she had to cheat on him and that's because of me. But is he with her now? I, I I don't think he's with her seriously because like, dude, if you're, if you, there's people that are already coupled up and one of them cheats on their partner with you and then you start dating that person, that's the most brain dead, dumbest fucking thing in the entire world. You really think they're not going to cheat again? They cheated on that person for you. You don't think they're going to cheat on you? Dude, hell no, nah, dude. That's the most dumbest shit ever. But like I said, I don't think like he's saying like this girl with him is that serious. They're probably just, you know, having fun and stuff. Anyways, let Nikki do the talking here. Mr. Beast? Wait, did we- Wait, wait, we heard this somewhere. Where did we hear this? It was a snippet, right? That live performance, I think? We heard the snippet of this, I think, dude. I remember this now. I remember this. The two piece is that because like you know the the top and the bottom like it's separate from like you know like the the Mona Lisa bar. Oh man! Every time he hit it, he gonna nail it like a press on. What's what's a press on? A triple entendre. As Nikki's referring to different pieces of gym equipment: push ups, press, flex, and pump. Also press on nails. Riding her man in sex from the back. Press on nails. I don't get what that means. Press on nails. I've hammered nails in before. I've done that stuff. But what is a press on nail? <laughs> I remember this though, hitting it from the back with my pumps and my dress on. <laughs> I remember this. Let's keep going. I like this guy. He's cool. Oh, 
Oh, Lil Wayne. Dude, we got the, you hear the fucking lighter. You hear him fucking taking a puff, dude. Ah, dude, I love Lil Wayne, man. She want R&B. Fuck her to some R&B. Make me wanna sing. That's just sound like harmony. When she moan for me. And that cat baby fat like a morally pop that. Guys, I need to know what this means. Baby Fat was a well-known brand in the early 2000s created by Kimora Lee and that cat Baby Fat. Oh my fucking God. I feel like if I knew that beforehand, that bar would hit so fucking hard. But now like, now that I just learned it after the bar, it kind of ruins it. You know what I mean? But like, it's still, that's a tough bar, dude. Shit. I'm gonna mop that pussy like a <laughs> Make a pop that pussy like a pill, nigga. I'm gonna make a swap that pussy for a real nigga. If she get a op that pussy, I'm gonna kill it. What? <laughs> Bro, what did he say? I don't adopt that pussy, bitch. I kidnap it. I make her lock that pussy and conceal that clit. <laughs> conceal that clit? What does that mean? What? <laughs> I don't... Guys, I don't know what the fuck that means. Buy a fake booty for a real ass bitch. That's funny. Damn, Lil Wayne, dude, I love how you can add like a comedic approach to his bars. I love it. Did this guy rap? No. That was a cool track, man. I wish Lil Wayne had a bigger part, dude. I wish Lil Wayne had a bigger part. Uh, the Tate guy, dude, he has a nice, he has a nice voice. He's cool, cool chorus. I thought he's gonna rap at some point, but he doesn't drop any bars. He just, uh, well, I guess you can say they're bars, but you know, he's just singing on the track more so. Yeah, man, Nicki and Lil Wayne, that was dope. Both of them provided. We already heard Nicki's verse. I don't know if we, I don't think it was the entire verse. I don't know, was it the entire verse? I remember she did that though on the live performance, she did that. It was fun, man. I just wish Lil Wayne had a bigger part, man. I love when he just has a nice, like, thick verse. You know what I mean, dude? What's everyone else saying? She wanted Rihanna and Beyonce, really, on this? For real? The instrumental, eight. <laughs> eight. The beat, though. Yes, I can hear when it's a hit. She is a real what? <laughs> Welcome to call. Oh, college. Why are you saying call? I forget how to pronounce that. I remember that though. That's where he grew up, I think. Lil Wayne. Wayne World still out here. Shout out to Young Money family. Wasted potential for Lil Wayne. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, man. So short. I remember watching a documentary back in the day. I forget how old I was. I was like probably like 12. It's like a Lil Wayne documentary. And there's one part where you can see him like sip and lean in the studio. And there's the one song that came on and I loved it. Duffel Bag Boys or some shit. Lil Wayne was a feature on that track. I Dude, that song is a fucking banger. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but Lil Wayne's just a just a goat, man. He's an OG. That was a good track, man. I like it. Keep really, man. Keep. Uh, I wouldn't put this in the nines but it's definitely a good track so i'm gonna give this one i'll give it like an eight six i'll give it like an eight six man i enjoyed all of it the chorus you know if the chorus was lackluster that would have been you know kind of whack but this guy provided too i don't know who he is but he provided so for me man eight six okay okay next up is pink birthday happy birthday once again nikki uh this video is gonna be up like a day later or two days later perhaps i gotta edit all of it produced by boy wanda classic 116 apollo parker and fierce fierce what was that commercial? Was it like five gum or something? Like fierce. I forget. Let's go. Doesn't the instrumental, doesn't that vocal in the instrumental kind of sound like Travis Scott? I mean, it's, I don't think it is, but it kind of sounds like it. That sounds like Travis Scott. It is. Oh my God, it is Travis Scott. It, Travis Scott has writing lyrics on this and Metro Boomin. Wait, Metro Boomin for writing credits, but he's not on production? And Travis Scott? Damn, really? I mean, I dude, it sounded like Travis Scott. It makes sense. That's cool. 
blunt too. Do the six nine four, we do the one two. On call and fuck me like you want to. Vanilla ice cream coming down my ass cheeks. These them throw it back, make it clap cheeks. He like the way I smell, PF two. He bend me up, Prieto. I love him <laughs> cake and I let him eat it too. He might jack in, yeah, I let him beat it too. Pink birthday card, this for me to you. The bars, the sexual bars. It's your party you can do. I've heard it. What's that a reference to? Is that the song? It's my party. Oh, I love that song. Yeah. I can cry if I want to, I think, right? The six, nine. Ah, dude, that's the best, man. Dude, the one, two. What's the one, two? Like fighting? Oh, I'm calling fuck me like you want to. Dude, these bars, bro. Vanilla ice cream. Then she says, coming down my ass cheeks. God damn, man. Throw it back, make it clap cheeks. You like the way I smell PF2? I didn't even know she had perfume released for the album. Really? That's sick. The pretzel, the way she pronounces pretzel too to make it rhyme more. Have his cake and I let him eat it too. Obviously eating ass, but also getting his, you know, time to shine. Getting his attention that he deserves. I might jack and yell, let him beat it too. Like jacking off can beat as a slave for engaging in rough penetrative sex i don't like how they describe that dude <laughs> you don't have to say do you need to say penetrative i'm pretty sure we can all assume it's going in all right all right is that a will smith is that a will smith reference break the internet at will now because like she's breaking the internet but also at will that could be a will smith reference but no one highlighted it post a pic got him jack and like jill now a jack and jill reference i've heard that a lot that's a classic you know double entendre that's it that's short oh Dude, the samples on this shit's insane. Damn, dude. So, like, this sample is Pornography by Travis Scott. I've, I've heard Pornography, but I never saved it. I don't... Was that from Owl Pharaoh? I think that might have been Rodeo. Rodeo or whatever it's called. My favorite Travis Scott album, Birds in the Trap. Owl Pharaoh is great. But I think that was a mixtape. I, I think Astral World's overrated. I think Utopia is overrated. Uh, Birds is just the perfect dark trap album, dude. I, that was an amazing album. I thought it said pornographic content, but it says phonographic. <laughs> is that a fucking pornography sample? <laughs> She's doing porn me things. Hello, this is what I'm talking about. Ain't no motherfucking way. That's a sample from my Pookie Bear La Flame. Pookie Bear. <laughs> Yeah, it was so short, dude. She'd be coming up with great samples on this project, though. Weirdest use of a Travis sample ever? I mean, not really. The track's called Pornography, right? And this is, like, about getting down and dirty on her birthday. So it's like, it actually makes sense. But okay i like it man that was a cool track i do wish there was like another verse at least it was fun dude she really provided like fun sexual bars uh the beat was fire the drums went hard the sample was cool i like it keep it elite keep what will i rate this one i'll go i'll go eight five i'll go eight five i do wish there was another verse ah uh, maybe an eight six i'll go eight six fuck it fuck it eight six eight six i do like it eight six man okay okay next track is needle why needle but Featuring Drake. Could be good. Could be good, dude. Produced by Boy Wonder and Yogi the Bear, aka Yogi the Producer. Uh, let's check it out, man. If these diamonds in my head can weigh me down, what makes you think you could weigh me down? Stop it right now. Man, man, Drake, dude, listen, man. I, dude, if one of my like girlfriend, okay, then if a guy's jealous, not jealous, but like if you're like warning a girlfriend of yours, you know, like about Drake, I feel like it comes off as like jealousy. But if I were a girl and I had a girlfriend and I was, you know, trying to warn her about Drake and being like, nah, you better be careful. I feel like that's not being pessimistic. We know Drake's past. We know he's a fuckboy. Let's be real here. Drake is a fuckboy. I think it's fair to be doubtful of Drake's love at this point. I don't know, man. Drake, come on, man. Have some self-awareness, my dude. 
Okay, I don't like this verse at all. I don't know, th this voice he has, like, it's not his voice, it's an effect on his voice. It kind of makes it sound like it's on the radio or something. I don't like it, man. It was on his album, honestly, Nevermind as well, I think. And it's just, I'm not a fan of that. I The beat, the beat's nice. The perks and the drums, nice. But this Drake verse, I really think Drake fell off, guys. I think Drake fell off. I'm keeping it real, like, kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing. Let's see if he redeems himself with the chorus here. I just want so that's what it is needle in the haystack i get it yeah I, I mean i like the flow of the chorus but again his voice i don't it's like they cut out a lot of the low end frequencies in his voice which is just so fucking stupid to me i don't like that sound at all i think he's trying to do his own thing and like trying to start a wave or maybe he's copying someone else's wave I'd, i'm disappointed man i i hate drake he's annoying he's cringe but he does have good music but lately dude it's just not there i don't hear it i don't hear it that's i'm disappointed bro the flow's nice i could stay back i could take that come and lay back on our way back make a movie watch the playback now i don't say that i don't play that the way it grip oh dude the duck and i'm like bjork i wouldn't have got that but i remember someone showed me the clip of like i think it was i don't know if it was like an interviewer or a fan but they ran up on her I think she fought back or some shit. I forget. <laughs> it was like, or she died. I forget what happened, but it was really funny. Damn, I gotta rewatch that video. Popping out like a cork. God damn, dude. Send the jet a Valentino drip the way it grip. Okay. She uh she delivering. She delivering. Like the way it grip, my hips cupping my breath. Shading like silhouettes, spinning like pirouettes. It gave nothing, bitch. Thank you for zero net. Damn, she'll see another bit of rest. Shut up my inner lips. Shade like silhouettes though. Toronto. <laughs> she pronounced the second T. You're not supposed to pronounce it. I mean, I love that. I love that. I pointed out before, and someone got like offended. I don't. I don't know, uh, guys. I'm stupid, but I like that the dialect. Is that it? The Trinidad jamaican dialect is that the right way to say it i called it an accent i think last time and someone got mad at me and i was like dude I, I don't know what else to call it but that style i guess i like that i like that it's really vibey man the perks are so good A long-awaited collab. Yeah, seeing green was great. Dude. Drake ruined it. He ruined it. The beat's nice, but I feel like it's kind of getting repetitive a bit, too. It was a good track, but did Drake... He had a chance to make or break this track, and I think he broke it. I'm gonna keep it real, dude. Like, his flow was nice for the chorus, but, like, the voice... I can't stand that effect or style he's using. It's definitely an effect. He's cutting out the low frequencies. It just ruins it. It just ruins it. Because, like, as soon as Nikki comes in, you can hear the full vocal. You can hear it so clearly. And it goes back to Drake, and then it's just, like, back to that... That cut frequency in a vocal it just sounds gross I, I don't like that sound dude seeing green dude it's dude this is a huge downgrade from seeing green i'm gonna keep it real dude the beat was nice but as it went on i, I got a little bit tired of the beat but uh nikki was the only thing great about this this track i'm gonna keep it real man similarly yeah i, I was thinking of that as well the voicemail at the start kind of reminded me of um hey, are you awake right now fuck what is that, is that marvin's room 
I forget, but it was from that that one project. Uh, I don't think it's related. It's just the song is titled Needle due to the catchy chorus falling. I don't know if I'd call it catchy, to be honest. I'd say it's kind of forgettable if I'm keeping it real. The flow is the only nice thing. Dude, I'm disappointed with this. Drake giving views and more life. Dude, views is... I don't want to I don't want to say it's my favorite Drake project, but like, it's really fucking good. Views is top tier. The only views I get from this is the perks. The drums and the perks. Definitely feels like uh, maybe even like passion fruit. I don't know. I'm disappointed with this, dude. I fuck with this heavy. Ducking him like B Bjork. <laughs> I was thinking passion fruit, but uh, the voice. We've been needing Drake and Nikki. This better be good. Well, I don't think so. Welcome to Bangkok. I'm disappointed, man. I, is anyone else like disappointed? I want to see anyone else feel this. SZA. Is that SZA's real name? I didn't know that. Dricky. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I didn't know that was SZA. Is giving views. Dude, again, I loved Views. Views is one of my favorite projects from him, and I don't... It's just the drums and perks. It's just... The, and I don't think that's fair to say that's Views. Because, like, that's... I don't know. That's a wide thing. Drake didn't create that sound. I skipped the first time, but the second lesson I'm rocking out. It's cool. Passion Fruit 2.0? Nah. Wow. I, the amount of people loving this, I feel like this is just... Nah. Drake fanboys, dude. Drake fanboys. I'm keeping it real, man. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna suck no dicks. I'm not gonna fucking, you know, gas... Gas up shit I don't like. I'm fucking giving my real opinion, because that's... That's just how it is. It's how I feel, man. I feel like Drake ruined it, but he had a chance to make it great. Uh, Nikki is the only good part about this. Keep it elite. The beat was nice, but it got repetitive. I'm gonna keep it though. What will I rate it? I'm going like I don't even think this can be an eight. I'm going seven nine. I'm going seven nine. Just the amount of Drake on this with his voice, with that effect, ruined it for me. If you like it, you like it. If you know, I don't like it. So don't come at me and be like, oh, what do you mean, dude? Dude, I don't like it. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> seven nine, dude. It's a decent track. Okay, okay, next up is Cowgirl featuring Lordiz. I don't know who the hell that is, but Dr. Luke on production. Dude, can we just get this guy out of the music industry? Like, yeah, he's made like great songs, but he's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. Get him out of the industry. Why the fuck is he here, dude? Come on, man. Dr. Luke. Ugh. I'm gonna throw up, dude. Let's check it out. That sounds familiar. Is it a sample? <laughs> oh, I I see. Ayo. Ayo. I think I might know this bitch. I saw this wrist pulling up in a six. Drake packing like a flight for a trip. You know all these other bitches really want to be me. I know how to make a nigga dick get creamy. Piss it dreamy. Ayo, one, two. Check one is fun, two. I get it done, two. Forty inch my front, two. I get it three, four. Yup, yup. I'm about to ride on like a seesaw. Is that CD or CC? Dude, the flow is here. Oh my lord. One, two, check one, two. It's fun too. I get it done too. 40 inch my front. Will I get three, four? What is what does that mean? 40 inch plasma rims? I think it means rims, right? Yep, yep. I'm about to ride them like a seesaw. <laughs> C Dior, Christian Dior. Classic. Classic. Dude, she's picking up the flow here too. It's going pretty fast. <laughs> Tree, Madonna, Queen. I, I was like, do you see if she don't give you head when you pull it up in the oh, okay, vehicle, oh, vehicle, road head. I was thinking of like vaginal, <laughs> vaginal. All right, let's keep going. I like this, that's nice. Hey, yo. I love that. Oh! Oh, dude! She's so good with the flows here, man. The bull is not mechanical. You know what she's talking about. I don't need to explain that. You guys know. Under my dress, Marilyn Monroe. Cl classic, iconic Marilyn Monroe thing with the... Uh, a cowboy, the boy is gung-ho because he's he's like... You know, he's he's eager. Yeah, okay. Better than me? Oh, no, not one ho. Ah. <laughs> Big buckle on his cowboy hat. Low. Oh, dude, I love this, dude. These bars aren't like super, super crazy, but they work so well. You pack an eye pack. Mo. Copycat's crunchy like an apple. <laughs> I'm loving this. Crunchy like an apple. 
me line Italy, yeah, that is what my shoes be. I'ma keep it real with you, so please do not accuse me. If you can't do it three times a night, you're gonna lose me. Your bed passed me the toothpaste. The colorful one must be the poochie, oozy. I knew the poopsie will a juicy. Spark J, sip tea, cock the oozy. <laughs> cock the oozy? Nikki dated Lil Uzi? Are you kidding me? I never knew that. Is that how Lil Uzi got famous? JT of the City Girls and Lil Uzi Vert. Wait, wait. It could be a reference to both JT of the City Girls. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? No way. I, I know she's homies with him, dude. I'm not gonna act like I like Lil Uzi just because Nikki does. I don't. Even my favorite artist like Kid Cudi, if he's friends with some dude, I'm not gonna pretend to like that dude just because Kid Cudi does. I'm, I'm my own fucking person. I don't. I think that's lame as fuck when people only like someone because their favorite artist does, dude. Have you? Your own thoughts. Come on, man. Okay, that's a vibe. Whoa! Whoa! Spoilers! God damn it, that was spoilers. That's a fire sample though, I'm hyped for that, that sounds good. Dude, I like this, I do like it, but the chorus, I started getting tired of it, man. Like, it's nice, don't get me wrong, I like the falsetto, it's really airy, dreamy. But like, it started off with what, like two bars? One bar for the chorus, two bars? And then it expanded to like four bars, and then it got even longer. Oh no, it's just another four bars. But then, I don't know, it just, and then again, you know, like right after the interlude, I feel like the chorus was here a little bit too much. I think the chorus, it was here too much. It's nice, but it didn't be there that many times. Nikki was fun with it though, I enjoyed that. What's everyone else thinking on this? Produced by who? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Produced by who? I th honestly don't think it's uh, Dr. Luke. I'm pretty sure it's just a sample from Dr. Luke's past work because it sounds familiar but someone sampled it and no one knows who the producer is hold on let me check on uh spotify it's on oh, spotify says dr luke i don't i mean it sounds like one of his songs but it, like it was sampled that's interesting uh dreamy and playful reminds me of our first two albums super freaking girl but pop maybe just because it just has sexual references i don't did he take credit from producers signed under him yeah i don't know that's what i'm thinking man something's up here for the freaky girly babes Get over it. Dr. Luke is a juggernaut in the music. A great productor. I've never heard of productor. He has done ugly things to female artists. The industry needs him. No, he... No, 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 no. Are you R-worded? <laughs> It'll always be by his side. It's sad, but what can we do about it? Blackball him from the industry. How many people have been blackballed from the music industry? That's the thing. He is not needed at all, at all in the music industry. He is not needed. If he, if he's out of the music industry, is everything going to fall apart? Oh my God. No, it's not the end of the world. Get him out of here. You're a fucking idiot, dude. Real Oros XO. Man, I gotta be, I can't talk mad shit on here. On Twitch, I would talk mad shit on your ass. All right. But how about a big fuck you, dude? You're an idiot. Dr. Luke stands rise. This is definitely a troll. Who the fuck stands Dr. Luke? This is definitely a troll. Get your life together. Jesus fuck fucking christ disgusting anyways <laughs> the song it's nice airy fun like that one person said definitely some fun to it silly bars getting his his penis creamy ayo it was good it was good i like it keep it elite man i'll keep what will i rate it i'll go i'm not too big on this but i'll go like an eight two i feel an eight two it's a decent track man okay okay next up is everybody featuring Lil uzi vert I'm gonna I'm try and put my bias aside. I can't always do that. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of Lil Uzi. I think uh, he's he's one of the new age rappers that are just providing dog shit. That's what I think. All right. I'm keeping my honest opinion. But like I said, I'm gonna try and be open minded about this. Again, it's not that deep, guys. My opinion's my opinion. It's not that deep. DJ Smalls 732 on production and Tate again. Okay, let's check it out. Wait, 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 that song. Everybody. What song is that? I know that sample, but I don't remember that song name. I think it's just called Everybody. It was in Shrek, I think. Move your feet. Ah.
Oh, I didn't even get it. But the everybody is supposed to be... It connects. <laughs> I'm slow sometimes, guys. I'm slow. All right? Forgive me. But... Oh my god, these B words fuck everybody. You get it? Oh my god. Spit and kill everybody. God damn. Oh, a clever use. Very clever use. I like that. Hey yo. Oh. Lombardi. I don't know who that is, but I, I know that's his last name. I don't need to know who that is to know that's his last name for the... Because, like, look at it. It's like a pattern the entire time. Damn. She ain't no body. Barbie doll body. Oh, that's so clever and unique. I love that. Neutralize. Neutralize. This is different. This is sick. W production too. <laughs> Wait, I don't know this one. Stiffer than a roll body? Oh shit, it's like a workout thing. Or is it a pillow? I think it's the pillow that you roll on your body. Damn! And that pillow is like really stiff or whatever. I don't, it's not a pillow. Damn, oh my God. Dude, it's staying consistent too. I, I'm a little bit, I don't know how I feel about it because I love it, but I want, I feel like you're limited. You're very limited, but she is definitely pushing those limits with what you can do with this style of rhyme scheme or just the scheme for the verse in general. Having body at the end, you, you for like a normal amateur mid-range rapper, I think they'd struggle to, to incorporate this. But when you know how to actually craft lyrics, you can actually push those limits and that's what she's doing here. So it's very fucking cool, but at the same time, I kind of wish she wasn't, pitting this on her, you know what I mean? Like this, not, it's not a limit. I don't like to call it a limit, but I wanted to go harder on this beat. You know what I mean? Like, like rip it to pieces. I don't know. <laughs> Neutralize. You know what this reminds me of? Lil Uzi's vert song, Wanna Rock? I just wanna rock. That one's decent. That was actually a decent track. I do like that one. It kind of reminds me of that with the... I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of reminds me of that. Okay, hold on. Wait, is he doing the damn thing again? Didn't he do that? <laughs> in that didn't he do that in the Water Rock song? I swear he did that. The damn. See, he kind of didn't really do it that well. Better than everybody worth. Catching bodies works. They don't even know my body. Like body count. All my bitches get jealous body. Jealous body. See, that doesn't connect to me. Buy them all a BBL for they got a body. See, that works. One, two, three, four, five. Just throw in my high body. Does that make sense? Hold on. Someone explained it. So it is. He's interpolating his song. Just want to rock. Sick. That's cool. See, but see, see what I mean though? You see what I mean though? Nikki, each line made sense. But like here, dude, there's like, there's a couple lines that just, he didn't know what to do. He couldn't replicate what Nikki was doing. Be so hard that a dude might die. Okay. That one doesn't, that doesn't have the body then. I don't know. It was still, it was all right. I'm not like hating it or anything, but he couldn't keep up with what Nikki was doing. That's for sure. Damn. Okay, I mean, I like the delivery. I like, you know, the delivery was cool. It was... Dude, I can't fucking... It's all right. It's good. But like, it's not, it's not like, oh man, like this is, I don't want to like shit on him, but like, like I get it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It sounds cool, but it's just, where are the bars? Where are the bars? 
own bell ball belly guessing that's a brand himalayan pussy worth more than cali good coochie worth way more than a what i like to see it from the front when i look at your butt got the junk in her trunk that's the reason why i'm cuffed like is there any lyricism in here really i i dude I dude, I dude. Oh, let the sample go, dude. You're you're cucking it. Let it go. Let it roll. Please. Let it let it play. No. Oh, dude, they keep cucking it. They keep cucking it, dude. The instrumental, the sample. I want it to have that drop, but they keep like, they keep cucking it. Three minute up-tempo Jersey song. Really? Uh, using the Tooth Up Move Your Feet classic Uzi contribution reuses some lines from Just Wanna Rock. Yeah, man. Listen, man, I'm trying to be open-minded. And like I said, he doesn't sound bad on this at all, but it's just, it's very clear his pen game is nowhere near Nikki's. That's a fucking fact. And if I'm keeping it real, real with how I feel in my motherfucking opinion, this would be way better without Uzi. It would be better. Like I said, it's it sounds good, but I know Nikki would make it sound way fucking better. I... Um, I, like I said, I, I like Just Wanna Rock. I like that song. That's a good song. But I don't know, man. It, it just, I feel like Nicki would have did a lot better alone on this track. Keeping it real, man. That's how I feel, man. GTA. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Jersey Club all the way. I'm not, I'm not familiar with the Jersey sounding music, I guess, influence. Is this a fucking bop? What the fuck? Nicki did her big one. I don't know what that means. I don't dance, but I got up and shook some for this one. <laughs> Uzi and Nikki went crazy. Nikki went crazy. Just want to rock part two. Guys, I love the sample. I love what Nikki does. I love the way she creates her rhyme schemes. Not just rhyme schemes, but the scheming, the, 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 what the fuck's that word? Arrangement of the verses. I love that. She did amazing with that. Uh, Uzi, he didn't, he didn't do anything like horrible. Like it was nice. It, it fits the vibe, but I just know it just felt like filler. I feel like Uzi felt like filler, if that makes sense. Uh, and I know Nikki would have did amazing if this was just her track alone with no features. Keep it elite, man. I'll keep. Uh, that sample is fucking sick. I love that. That's really cool. What will I rate this one? I'll go like an eight. I'll go like an eight three. I feel an eight three for this one. It was good. It was good, like all around. But I just the Uzi part kind of holds it back for me, in my opinion, guys. My opinion, don't get mad. Come on, man. <laughs> Anyways, A3 for me, man. Okay, okay. Next up is Big Difference. Produced by Slade the Monster, FNZ, Keanu Beats, and Boogs the Beast. These, that sounds like a gamer tag, bro. Boogs the Beast, Slade the Monster. Oh, Slade. Oh, I get it. Like, you killed the monster. Oh, that's cool. All right, man. Let's check it out. That sounds kind of harsh. Like a buzzsaw. Like my hand is blue. Oh yeah. You, 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 you. Uh, I'm on a whole nother level. These bitches is out of their league. These bitches ain't batting like me. You bitches ain't better than me. You bitches don't count on me. Bitches can't count. I am not the one, two or the three. You bitches look up to me. You said you look up to her, but really you look up to me. Oh, I can be playing. We've heard this. Wait, have we heard this? I do remember this. You said you look up to her, but you really look up to me. Did she preview this somewhere? I feel like I've heard that. I swear I've heard that, but I don't remember that buzzsaw. I don't remember that buzzsaw sound. But I do gotta say, I do like how the buzzsaw... It sounded harsh at the start, but as soon as the vocal comes in, they know that they gotta get rid of those melodies. Or get rid of those frequencies. So they, they cut out, you know, the harsh frequencies on the buzzsaw. Very... That's I like that because some people don't pay attention to that in production and it just it kind of ruins things So I'm glad they you know did what they got to do for that ain't batting like me. We're getting uh Baseball references not a big fan of baseball, but that's cool, man. That's cool. This sounds kind of familiar. Let's keep going I can be playing with niggas. I'm married to G. I got some niggas that do what I say If I tell them to shoot they pull up from the three when bitches be rapping I'm laughing and sound like you trying to me I'm who you dying to be Will somebody cop all these groupies a ticket Cause I'm who they dying to me <laughs> I'm in the city, I drop a location and all of the killers come out These niggas be fighting for y'all But they play the back when them killers is out When them killers is out Cut them off like the scissors is out Oh shit 
Dude, she, even, even this is, we got a football reference, we got baseball, and then we got like a basketball reference as well, shooting from the three, pull up from the three. What's the double, is there a double entendre there? It gives the command to those under, under her influence, right? Yeah, if I tell them to shoot, they pull up. Oh, because they pull up from the three, which is like, like, you know, they're not going to pull up from the two point range in the paint. They're pulling up at the three to get those points, dude, to maximize those points. I see. Very cool. Nice. Oh, this is like a, a laid back, like, that sounds familiar too. the you, you, and you, a lot of people have done that. Whoa! I thought for a second I thought I was gonna go a little bit more funk, like that that like drifting funk music with that cowbell, because the cowbell is really prominent in funk. But nah, but still, that still sounds fucking fire, dude. And then it goes up an octave again, like that's that's nice. Rolls Royce, classic. Giving avalanche? Hold on, let me try and guess myself. Let me try and guess myself. I didn't click on it yet. Giving avalanche. Avalanche can be like multiple things. I'm pretty sure that's like a vehicle as well. I ain't skiing, but she's talking about skiing. God damn it. I don't, I don't, I gotta, I gotta check. Her neck is icy. Oh, God damn. Good one. Damn. I get it. Shit. Oh, I didn't think of that. Damn. I should have thought of that. Fuck. That's nice. Smoking on that Taliban. Afghanistan Kush. Classic. Damn, dude. Okay. Like my hand is blue. Bad bitches, yeah, I keep them by the two. It's the big distance between me. Ah, I feel like mean mug in this track, you know? Ooh, record scratch in there. Bad bitch, I ain't nothing like you, you, you or you. Ah. I love the record scratches. Cause she eight. Wait, does that add up to eight? They ain't the one or the two or the three. That's six. Or the four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn it. Oh, that'd be cool if it add up to eight. That'd have been so cool. Yeah, we heard that snippet. I knew it sounded familiar, but I don't remember the buzzsaw still. I don't remember that buzzsaw sound. Dude, that went hard. I love like the mean mugging, the vibe of it, especially the chorus. It just, it's hard and aggressive, but it's also like low key aggressive, which, which it makes sense. That makes sense. Can the comments load? I'm curious. Okay. Well, I guess we're not getting the comments on this one. Uh, keep it late, man. Keep, keep. I like this track. I love the, the aggressiveness on it, man. I love aggressive Nikki. It's just so fucking good when she's like stunting and talking her shit. I love that. Keep it late. Keep, what would I rate this one, dude? I want to go like an eight. I'm gonna go like an 8-6 for now, for now, for now, 8-6. Uh, it's a tough track, man. Tough track. Okay, okay. We're gonna do Ford with Trini. We did all the singles she dropped. You can find those on the channel. Search them up. Red Ruby to Sleeves. We already did. Ford from Trini featuring Skillabeng and Skeng. Produced by Bass Beats, Boss Beats, and Melio Sounds. Check it out. Oh, shit. True. Oh, hold on, hold on. I didn't even, I didn't even realize it went into the chorus. Dude, is he talking about Nikki's 
but JJ, isn't that kind of weird, right? Because, like, she has a husband. She's a mom as well. Like, isn't that, like, kind of out of pocket? He's talking about Nikki, isn't he? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if, the, if that's cool or not, but I think, I guess she's fine with it. Uh, let me go back to the chorus a little bit. The horn. <laughs> the chopped vocal in the back. Damn. Dude, was that a fucking accordion in that shit? I swear I heard an accordion there. God damn. Okay. Yo, this beat's insane. My name comes up violent island girls we get the thumbs up on my never give a fuck my talk shit up doka doka girl bad like me can she and she forward front she me she 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 smile girl down with you she this is freaking groovy dude oh shit it's a hype closer for papa bear Dude, the accordion, I feel like that's so random to have an accordion there. Uh, that was pretty fucking cool, dude. Definitely a vibey fucking grooving track. A lot of, a lot of sexual <laughs> references up in there. Paying homage to Trinidad, I love that. That's sick. I didn't, like, pick up on too many bars, though. It's, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. But I do love the vibe and the flows. It was really fun. I think that's a really fun track. Uh, second collab with both of them. Remixes of Crocodile Teeth and Lickle Miss? Whatever I'm saying this. I love this. West Indian Caribbean people. Way y'all dare. Love this. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, such a bop. Love the fusion of genres. True. Lagos. Nicki Minaj is on fire. <laughs> that gif. <laughs> Saint Kitts Massive. Will always love Nicki. This is straight ass on God. What the fuck? Never cook. Dude, this shit was a vibe. It was actually a bop. I know, like, there's parts where I, I struggle to understand, but, like, it's still a bop. It's still very fun. The beat is really good. Like, it's it's a dope track. I think it's a good track. That was kind of short, though. How long was that? Two and a half minutes. Keep it elite, man. Keep. What will I rate that one? It was fun. I'll give it, like, an A3. I'll give it, like, an A3, man. It was a fun track. Okay, okay. Next up is Pink Friday Girls, produced by Jay Reed. That does sound familiar. Chevy? Is that the guy? Oh, he did uh, Barbie Tings and Chun Li. Oh, I still gotta check out those videos. I haven't done that yet. The the in the studio stuff. I really want to see that. Um, plus, there's another thing. I don't know. Like, I don't know the timing of all this. When this is gonna be released? But I also gotta check out the other thing. What was the other thing I said? She did a, a video with Vogue. I want to check that out as well. Looking at her like past outfits and shit. That'll be cool. Anyways, man, let's go. Another fire sample. Girls just want to have fun. Classic. <gasps> wait, wait. I'm so happy they kept up the, the instrumental from the sample uh, for the verse. I love that. Oh. LeBron. Go back. <laughs> Samurai fly. She's doing it. But girls, they wanna have fun. The EQ on the instrumental, I hear that. Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna widen up. Oh. Super bass, classic. 
for some pretty feet, bro. Listen, man, I don't like kink shaming, but y'all, y'all fucking weird, dude. I'm gonna keep it real, man. Y'all fucking weird, dude. She said something earlier about her feet as well, so I'm wondering, like, maybe her husband has a feet fetish. I feel like I'd, I'd be better off knowing, not knowing that information, but, uh, let's keep going, dude. Damn. Ah. McQueen. Lightning McQueen? No, 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 no. Alexander McQueen is actually right, right. I don't know why I thought Lightning McQueen, but Alexander. Word to McQueen. Interesting. What if she what if what if she's talking about herself and she's having like a McDonald's collab coming up and this is like a foreshadow for that? I don't think so. Well, that'd be kind of cool. I've never heard of keeping it a bean. Keeping it a bean, keeping it like a hundred, keeping it real, keeping it a bean. I think that's like a slang. I, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar. In the middle of the night, my father's what you gonna do with your life. the claps there oh lord is again the drum break nice dude oh this sounds good nikki doing the want to have fun part that was sick. That was sick, dude. I don't know how, dude, she's getting all of these like classic samples left and right. And it just, it creates such a cool, fun project, man. And they're using it so well, man. It's kind of like super freaky girl, dude, which is next, which we already did. So you can search that up on the channel if you want to see that. But dude, I'm loving the use of the samples. They're so well done. I feel like this is just such a fun track. Like it fits so well with the sample. She, she knows how to use it so well. Doing some flexing. Gotta love the flexing. It was really fun. I didn't expect, what's her name? Lourdes. I didn't expect Lourdes to be back on this. I don't even think she says, yeah, there's no feature, but fire, dude. Nikki Kamsin performing a cover of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun alongside Katy Perry in 2010. I don't remember that. I don't know if I remember that. We up. Love that she sang the sample. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize. Damn. I didn't even think of it like that. Shit. Fuck. This is a whole circle. That's so cool. I'm serious. You know you're still number one. She made history. She knows what's up in this slaps hard. It is. Nikki's so funny. She is. I love that. Another fun track, dude. And she slayed on this shit. I like it. Keep her to leave, man. Keep. Will I rate this one? I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna go like an 8-6. I want to go like an 8-6. Eight, 8-7. Eight, seven. Eight, seven. I didn't say nothing. I said 8-7, guys. 8-7. I like it. The samples are just so fun. and I It's like a surprise. It's like Christmas. It's like each song's a new gift. I love it, dude. 8-7. Okay, okay. Next up is My Life. I forgot Bomb Bomb. We also did on the channel. Again, you can find that if you want to look up uh, the video. My Life, produced by Don Canyon and Sean Momberger. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's check it out. Oh, anti up. I'm always up. Ooh. She did a my son's bar. My junior is Sammy. Sammy Davis Jr. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay, I see. Who's Lammy? Lamar Odom. Ball hard. Don't ever owe me them like Lammy. Damn. Okay. Wait. Lamar Odom isn't. I thought he was a football player, just like Lamar Odom's nickname, Lammy. He's a basketball player? No, 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 no. Hold on. Lamar Odom is not a basketball player. Genius? I swear to God. He's a basketball player? Lamar Odom? Why do I why, why do I think he was a football player? Is does he have a brother in the NFL? And like I remember Kim Kardashian dated him or something. Am I mixing him up with someone? I don't know. I thought he was a football player. Like jump rope. If, if the queen sleeves put a bag on it, then it's gun smoke. So we ain't playing on the internet. I got bigger fish to fry. That's why I got a bigger net. Oh wait, I feel like I heard a snippet of this somewhere. Did she preview this on Twitter? I think she previewed like a snippet of like something on Twitter. I remember hearing this. I got a bigger fish to fry, so I got a bigger net. I mean, I don't even click that. Obviously, we know what that means. Damn. Blondie. Blondie. <laughs> well, the vocal sounds kind of quiet. Uh huh.
<laughs> Real, dude. What's happening? Somebody followed me on Twitch, I think. <laughs> Wait, I pull strings with a hammy. A hammer, which is referring to a gun, right? I swear people have referred to like guns as like a hammer. But also the hamstring, which is like in your ankle, I believe. Holy shit. God damn, dude. <laughs> Put your ass to sleep like your mammy. <laughs> That was funny, dude. Oh. Damn. I don't know this Blondie song. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I know Drake's done that before. Where it's like, I don't. No, like there's a pause between the the don't and the no and it just creates like a nice pocket for a second you know what i mean i love that nope <laughs> what blondie song is that i'm not recognizing blondie on this one the perks are nice too in the back Nice, dude. No inside knowledge yet. What are the comments saying? What's the sample? I was hoping to find the sample. It's not gonna say. Damn it, dude. I don't know that Blondie song. Blondie, she's mad with those samples, right? 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 I still sit and so I know they can't stand me. That one's so good, dude. <laughs> that one's so good. Slay. Sample so iconic. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. True. That was great. Another fun track, dude. I love when she just talks her shit. It's so fun, dude. Keep it late, man. Keep what will I rate this one? It's good. But I feel like first listen, it's it's it could be better. So I'm gonna give this one keep it late, keep what will I rate it? I'm gonna give this one like uh I'm gonna go eight four for now. I feel like if I recognize the sample, I'd be even more hyped, but like I don't recognize that sample. So for me, man, eight four. It's a good track. Okay, okay. Next up is Nikki Hendrix with Future, produced by Beham Vincent Lifeshaw. Alright, let's check it out, man. Future? I think he isn't as big as he used to be these days. I remember Mac Miller said that. You gotta break it down just to build it up. Real. Oh shit. This is different. <laughs> okay. Tell me I come and get you. Can't get you issues. Whenever no tissues. Dude, I feel like I've never heard Future be like vulnerable. I feel like he's always one of those guys that's like drugs, money, chains, cars, booty clapping. You know what I mean? I thought I never I don't remember ever hearing. I mean, I haven't checked out like a full project from Future, but I've never heard any tracks where he was like like vulnerable like this, dude. Kind of cool. Ah, those snares. Well done. Wait, Patrick Ewing, classic player. Did his jet crash? Being in the quarter right, clutch. Okay, no, no, no. Getting chartered. What does chartered mean? What does chartered mean? Google, help me out here. Founder having its rights or privileges established by means of a charter. That jet gonna get chartered. I don't know what that. I don't. I don't get that. Shit. All right, let's go. It's amazing. All my shit is blazing. Isn't it amazing? Blazing. I know you love when I sing. Isn't this shit frightening? Mm. Oh. 
The vocal is on that. Oh my god. She needs... Dude, when she sings, she gotta do those vocal layers more. I love the harmonies and vocal layers and, like, singing. I love that, man. It fills everything out. <sighs> Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, okay. That was a nice song. I think it was a nice song, dude. Future, I'm not I'm not too big on Future, man. I, I, I don't know. I'm not too big on Future, but I, I like seeing that he, you know, he's stepping out. I don't know. Like, again, I don't know if he's done, like, vulnerable verses before, but I've never heard a vulnerable verse from Future. But I like that he's stepping out of his comfort zone like that. That's kind of cool. Like I said, I don't know if he's done it before. The chorus, I'm not, I'm not too big on the chorus. The chorus, mm, Nikki brought it. She brought it. The pussy tastes like water. Ayo. Ayo. Basketball bar, loving it. Bling hitting like lightning, I like that as well. It was a nice track. It wasn't anything too big, but it was a nice track, man. What, is, what does everyone else think? I'm curious. Yes, best Nicki song in years. Okay, you're tripping. You are tripping, my dude. Get off the drugs. <laughs> Pluto, huge queen vibes. Enjoyable listen, better than I expected. Nicki on her Hendrix shit. Nicki Minaj did it again. Okay, I feel like people like it more than me. Like, it's nice, but I don't... It's all right. It's all right. It's nothing like super cool or anything. The singing was really nice at the end with the harmonies. I love that. That was really nice. Keep it late, man. I'll keep. What will I rate this one? I think this is like a solid 8-4 for me. 8-4 for me, man. Uh, give it some time. I, that might change. But for now, man, 8-4. Okay, okay. Next up is Blessings featuring Tasha Cobbs Leonard, produced by Binks, Sad Pony, <laughs> And Bo Knox. Binks. I feel like he did stuff with Kid Cudi. I forget. He does he does sound familiar. Let's check it out, man. Blessings on blessings on blessings, Big Sean. Sad pony. <laughs> Wait, his name's not Binks, it's it's Binny X. Oh my god, I recognize the producer tag. I get it. God sound that sounds like Travis kinda. Damn. It's kind of like meditative. The blessings just reminds me of Big Sean. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, we get a little bit of religion up. We get a little bit of religion up here, man. Damn. Oh shit. That bah, 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 chop. Does that need to be there? Okay, a religious track. Okay, nice sentiment. Tasha is killing it, dude. Holy. Okay, 
Okay, that was really nice. Like, personally, like, the subject matter, I'm not a very religious person. I don't, you know, if you're religious, whatever, that's fine. You do you. But personally, I'm not, like, super religious. I don't really, like, talk about religion or politics because it's just, like, do we really need to talk about that shit? But, like, it's nice. That's nice, man. I think it's a nice track. It kind of has that faith in it, you know what I mean? And I love when people are, like, faithful, optimistic, hopeful. And I know religion can really help with that. So, that's nice, man. Amen. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Yes. Take me to church. I'm loving these comics. Comics? Comments. Bean... Beanix. I, f I already forget how to say his name, dude. This song making me cry, really, eh? She did take it to church. Best song on the album. Y'all tripping, man. It's a nice song, but best... Damn. Damn. Everyone can have their opinion, but <laughs> that's a stupid opinion. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. You're free to have whatever opinion you want. Whatever. It's a nice song. Like I said, it's a nice song. Nice sentiment. It's all right. The singing was nice. The singing was really nice. The production was... Eh, I'm not too big on the production, but the singing was really nice. And again, the sentiment. So keep it really... I'll keep. What will I rate this one? Personally, probably like an 8-0. I'm gonna go like an 8-0 on this. It's a nice song, man. 8-0. Okay, okay, next up is Just the Memories. Last time I saw you, we already reacted to that once again. I hate saying this shit, but like, yeah, it's on the channel if you want to search that up and check it out. Just Memories, produced by Bone Collector. I swear that's like a like a basketball guy. He's not in the NBA, but he's like he's like a freestyle basketball dude. I th that's not him, obviously. Habibi, Habib de Fondo. Nicki Minaj mysteriously tweeted the word memories, and shortly after, she further tweeted PF2. So back in 2020. Okay, okay. A little foreshadow back in the day. Let's check it out. Outro track. I just want to say, I'm loving that phaser on whatever the fuck is going on. I hear some like guitars and shit. That phaser going back and forth. That sounds sick. That's nice. It's not like hard panning. It's just a phaser. This is interesting. Whoa. Whoa, 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 man. Damn, man. We had like a religious, optimistic, very uplifting song. And now it's just like we're back in the depths. You know what I mean? I'm in hell. It ain't funny. Drinking lots of fluid, you know, alcohol probably. I'll be here to guide you through it. And maybe I ain't got it in me. Maybe it's just time to end it. See, that's what is she referring to? A relationship or I hope not life? May God forgive me. Damn, man. Oh, the bass is nice. My take on this, memories, dude, like, I get it, but, like, what was that one quote? It's like, depression is when you're constantly thinking of the past, and anxiety is when you're constantly thinking of the future. It's kind of true. It's kind of true, you know what I mean? And if you're always thinking about memories of the past, I used to be like that, because, like, my life ain't that great, but, and I'd always think about my past and shit, and when it was good, and, like, it was, it wasn't good because it would just make me depressed all the time, dude, so you, you gotta, like, stay in the, the moment, you know what I mean? Uh, which isn't that easy. You, you know, it's easier said than done. She says, memories don't leave like people do. Unfortunately, they, they do. Memories do fade. Uh, our memories suck, you know what I mean? There's certain details of our memories that will get replaced with things that never actually happened like false memories are a very real thing and that's actually what the mandela effect is is false memories i don't know man it's it, this is sad it is sad i feel it i remember when i was the girl that everybody doubted when every label turned me down and then they laughed about it i remember going home and writing 50 more raps yeah he got killed stabbed in the neck with a switch blade jesus Oh. 
for that. These bitches die for that. I told Drake that he don't owe me nothing, never did. I pray that Wayne always remembered that I never slid. Look at all the shit that y'all threw at me and I never did. Greatest female rapper that ever lived and that's all my kids. Oh, oh, chills, man. That was so well delivered, man. And it's like, it's memories that I feel like fans can have. Cause like, she's talking about young money and coming up. You know what I mean, dude? And then she made it all the way. She made it all the way. Greatest female rapper to ever live. That's on God. But then like she says, like, that's on my kid. You know, like she, she made it. She made it. And she's like, ah, oh, dude, that's so nice. Oh, I love that. Damn. Could have overdosed. Could have been comatose. Wait, hold on, Juice. I feel a baby kicking. Holy smokes. I prayed for a son. My husband wanted one. If they ask about me, tell them I was one of one. Wait, what's up with the juice? Juice World? Wait, hold on, Juice. I feel the baby kicking. Holy smokes. A reference to Juice World who died. We know he overdosed, right? R.I.P. It's not. I don't think it's a diss. She publicly praised him. But I don't get what she's saying here. Like, hold on, Juice World. I feel the baby kicking. Were they tight? Maybe they were like tighter than we know. Like like homies, you know what I mean? Like she praised him apparently online. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And had him set to perform on her tour. Ah, yeah. So they might have like, like chatted it up a bit and they were probably tight. And she's like saying, you know, like, like, I hope you're happy and proud of me, you know? Shit, man. I'm not a big fan of Juice World, but I'm not gonna disrespect him, man. R.I.P., man. Got some more layers. Oh, shit. It's getting, like, cinematic. A pike? And it's painting too. Oh, the strings just holding on to. Damn, that's actually a really good outro track. I was gonna say, before the song played, I was like, dude, the intro track would have been a great outro track. That shit almost made me cry, man. That shit was, that shit was tough, man. But this one's great as well, because it's, it's bringing everything full circle. It's tying everything back. Talking about the memories and how she got to where she is and paying respect to the people that, like, respected her. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's a beautiful outro track. I think that was so great. Good fucking choice, dude. Damn, dude. What's everyone saying? Excuse me, that's a bop. I wouldn't consider this a bop. I don't think this is considered a bop. It's a beautiful fucking track. A bop. Can a bop have beauty? Can a bop have beauty? K kinda. But I feel like bop's more of like a hard, like, poof, poof. you know, like a bop. This isn't a bop, but it's a fucking gorgeous track. She also liked to tweet asking if Memories is the lead single's title. The song is so emotional. I love it. So emotional. Sounds like the cover, if that makes any sense. Oh, oh okay. I can. I, I feel the vibe. Is the only person who can tweet a single word and have it added to Genius with over 20k views. I can't wait to hear the rest. Angelic voices. Yeah, dude, at the end was really nice. Damn. Dude, this album is really fucking good. She delivered. It's a very... Okay, first off, let's just conclude the track keep her lead keep man I, like i said i think it's a beautiful track to wrap everything up come full circle and tie everything together i think that's great what will i rate this track i don't think it's a bop but i do love the beauty in the track it's like how she fought to get to where she is and she deserves every bit of what she has keep her lead keep what will i rate it i will rate it i'll give it like an eight i'll give it an eight eight like I said, I don't think it's a bop, but it doesn't need to be a bop to have a good rating. It's a very beautiful track. 8-8. Eight, eight. Amazing. The album's freaking over, dude. The album's over. We're done. That's kind of sad. Dude, but the album delivered. Holy shit, the album did deliver. Every track's pretty fucking consistent. There might have been like two weak tracks for me that were like, you know, like was a 7-9 I think I gave and like an 8-0 like an or something. But those are still pretty decent. But overall, it was a great fucking album from start to finish, dude. I enjoyed that shit. Pink Friday 2, delicious. I guess we got to rate the entire album, dude. We gave it a lot of good ratings. This album was, like I said, very consistent. What will I rate the album? And man, it was so fun. Ah, I, I just want to say like it's so fucking fun dude like each track was a, like a surprise like a gift like i said earlier and i love that man it's so funny hearing what she has to bring i'll rate the album i'm gonna go with like a a nine i'll go like a nine three I feel like a 9-3 because there were some features. I wasn't too big on Future. I wasn't too big on Uzi. And I was really disappointed with the Drake. Uh, J. Cole was great. Lil Wayne was was great, but I wish he had like a longer verse. Um, I feel like a lot of the solo tracks that Nicki had were the best ones where she's just alone on the track. Those were like really fucking good. So yeah, man, for me, man, uh, album, I'm going to rate it 9-3. 
super fucking dope, man. I guess that's it, man. I, I guess that's it. If you guys are new here, man, I don't want to tell you to subscribe. That's cringe as fuck. But we have a bunch of fucking videos. There's a playlist on my channel with Nikki reactions, first reactions, and it has been a fun journey discovering her music, man. Uh, we're definitely going to check out those other stuff you guys have been saying. The in the studio, behind the scenes stuff. That should be really sick. And the Vogue video with the outfits. I've seen some of those videos before. They're really cool. So we'll check that out as well. So much love. They didn't want to stop by. Enjoyed the video. Much love to Nikki. And again, happy birthday. The video is not going to be out on her birthday, unfortunately. But happy birthday to Nikki. Queen of rap, dude. Have a good day, guys. Much love.